Want to know how to reduce the bounce rate on your site? High bounce rates can hurt your site's conversion rates when visitors leave your site before becoming subscribers or customers, and that means that your business won't grow. Bounce rate is the percentage of site visitors that land on your site but leave before viewing a second page. Your site's speed and performance plays a large role in whether visitors want to stick around or not. The longer it takes for your site to load, the faster your visitors will leave your site. Site visitors expect your site to load within two seconds, and anything longer than that, They'll abandon your site, and that increases your bounce rate. Plus, your site needs to be fast to compete with competitors in organic search. So to optimize your site's loading time, you may want to consider using a CDN. Try optimizing your images, investing in higher quality web hosting. Start keeping an eye on how plugins are affecting your site's speed and begin using a caching plugin. One important part of optimization that many people often overlook is matching search intent. Now, the easiest way to explain search intent is with an example. Let's say you run some keyword research and found that how to write a book review has thousands of searches per month. You write an article providing general tips for writing a book review, and it winds up being on the first page of search results. But the article has a very high bounce rate. Why is that? Well, you missed an important step. Before writing the article, you should have done your own search for your focus keywords or phrase. If you'd searched first, you'd have noticed that the top search results are actually numbered, easy-to-follow guides, not general tips like your article. That means that when users are searching how to write a book review, their intent is to find easy-to-follow guides, not just a general tips article. So always run your search for yourself and think critically about what users are searching for before writing an article. Getting your site's visitors to convert is a balancing act between asking for something but not asking for too much. So you want your call to action to be impossible to miss, enticing, and as easy and as fast as possible for users to complete. So you'll need to describe what you're selling to site visitors as soon as they land on the page. Make sure that you have a clear call to action so visitors know what steps you want them to take. And in addition, make sure you're honest and clear about what you're offering to prevent people from leaving right away. Performing A-B tests will help you identify website tweaks that you'll need to make to reduce your bounce rate. After all, you may have a bounce rate because of something minor like the color of a call-to-action button or the way your landing page is guiding visitors through the sales funnel. So, for an example, after conducting A-B tests of call-to-action button colors, HubSpot realized that 21% more people clicked on the red button than on the green button. Now, while this is an example of increased conversions Due to button colors, the thing is people have the tendency to leave your site if they aren't compelled to click. Now, you can use Google Optimize, a free tool from Google that'll help you run A-B tests on your site. You can check out the links in the description to learn how to use the tool and testing ideas designed to help you boost conversions and lower your bounce rates. Sometimes people decide to leave your site no matter what you do. You can use Optin Monster's Exit Intent technology to target those who are about to leave your site with a message designed to convince them to come back. You can offer them a discount coupon to use on their next visit, or get free shipping on their next purchase, or gain access to exclusive content, or download a guide that will help them to understand the value of your company. And don't forget to add a subscription form so you can capture their email address and target them in your next email campaign. Internal links are another way that you can get visitors to click further into your website. But that being said, you don't want to overwhelm your readers. Think of internal links like a logical sitemap. So if you mention something that you have more content about on your site somewhere else, you can link to it. That way, you create a natural flow further into your website that visitors can follow. Just don't overdo it. Using more than a link every three sentences or so will make your content harder to read and it will overwhelm your visitors. Make sure you keep your links relevant. If a user follows a link and finds content there that isn't really what they expected based on the text of the link, then they'll leave. Now, as a bonus, you can lower your bounce rate with Monster Insights. If you're using WordPress, the easiest way for you to keep tabs on your bounce rate is with Monster Insights. Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress that allows you to connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics, and you can view all of the data right on your WordPress dashboard. If you're using Google Analytics 4, you won't even see your bounce rate at all. Now, the only way you can view that metric is by setting up a universal analytics property. Then you can connect both properties to Monster Insights thanks to our dual tracking feature 
to get the best of both Google Analytics versions. Also with Monster Insights, you can set up sophisticated tracking features such as event tracking, e-commerce tracking, form tracking, and more. So for example, if you have two call to action buttons on your landing page or call to action links to your blog posts that lead to the same page, you can use enhanced link attribution to find out which buttons or links are generating the most leads and encouraging visitors to stick around on your site. You can enable Google app on your site to get more accurate analytics on your mobile traffic. Google Analytics can often skew the data being collected when it comes to bounce rates, mobile devices, and desktop activity. But with AMP, you get a more complete view of what's happening on your site. And you can open the Monster Insights Publishers Report at any time to see your bounce rate on a per-page basis. And then focus on using all of the above techniques on your pages that have a high bounce rate. Now that's it for this video. You don't want to miss the opportunity to get Monster Insights at a discounted price. So be sure to check out the discount link in the description. And to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click one of the videos on your screen now.